This is Toyota Talks and I am with Matt Airy who gained himself a valuable 10 points. It seems like not a big deal, but you're sitting in ninth place for Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year and you did your job here this week. Yeah, you know, two events left, uh, two fisheries. I've only been to the Mississippi River one time. I've never been to Hawaii, so I'm always excited about going to a new fishery, but being comfortably inside the top 10 in the AOI and I don't want to say the Classic is a lock, but it's, it's close at this point. Um, it's a stress reliever, you know. I mean, I can I can kick back, I can go out there, I can fish freely. Um, making the classic every year is the goal, right? And uh, you know, that's uh, AOY. It'd be nice, but Polynex making that really, really tough on all of us right now. So uh, we're just going to go out the last two tournaments, have a good time, uh, do the best we can. Hopefully, stay in the top ten AOY because the bonus money that the dress has put up this year for the AOY payout, uh, it's really, really good, and it climbs quickly in the top ten. So the, uh, the higher I can get in the top ten, the more money I make. Obviously, I love this fishery. A lot of fans love this fishery. It's craziness. But is there a kind of a part of this fishery that's incredibly frustrating to compete on? Like a great place to go fun fishing. But, I mean, any place where you can go and catch 21 pounds and you're like, I didn't really get them today. So, yeah, everybody's in the background. I said, you get them? No, I sucked. I had 20 pounds. Uh, after the first day of this tournament, my roommate, Scott Martin, Scott Canterbury, we're at the house and we're sitting here racking our brain because as professional anglers, when you go out in a tournament, uh, let's just say a Lake Norman or a uh, Harris Canyon or whatever, there's a lot of things that you can do and a lot of options that you can, you, adjustments that you can make to try to go out and improve your day, whether it's completely changing areas, techniques, things like that. But when you're catching 20 pounds of smallmouth up here on this fishery, there's only so many things that you can really go out and try. And there again, you're still going to be catching 20 pounds of smallmouth. So the guys that have found that four and a half to five and a half pound class fish separated themselves. Um, you know, I caught some five pounders during the tournament. I just didn't catch those four and a half. I caught three and three quarters to go with them. So that's, there's a fine line there on how do you adjust on a fishery like this, and that is the frustrating part. The next two events, what do you expect? Oahe, I have absolutely zero idea. <laughs> a, lot, a lot more smallmouth. Um, what I am hoping is the smallmouth are a little dumber there than they are here, because that place does not get a lot of pressure. Um, this place gets a fair amount of pressure, but they're, they're still chock full of big ones. Mississippi River, I have not been there in several years. I actually, the last time I was there was the year my youngest daughter was born, which was five years ago. And uh, had a great event there. I actually caught smallmouth the last time I was there and had a good event. Um, this time, I don't know if they're gonna play as much, but um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, it's gotta be a frog bite on the Mississippi River, right? That time of year, so frog fishing is one, uh, one of my favorite things to do, so I'm looking forward to that one. All right, I got a tricky question for you. Something maybe you could only answer. You've already brought up your roommates, of Scott Canterbury and Scott Martin. Hammerberry and Hollywood. How much hair care product does Scott Martin travel with? Let's put it this way. He always gets the master bedroom, and he always has his own bathroom. So the hair care product always stays very well hidden. So I can't answer that honestly, but I can honestly say that there's definitely some hair care products present in our house, and they're not minor chemistry. <laughs> this has been Toyota Talks, and this is Matt Airy sitting in ninth place in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year for me.